You're watching PLZ Soccer. This is your English Football Bulletin on Wednesday. Manchester City moved to the top of the Premier League last night with a scintillating 5-0 win away at West Brom as Pep Guardiola's men look back to their best. A barrage of attacks resulted in some fantastic finishes, with Luka Gundogan grabbing a brace to take his tally to seven in his last eight league games. City have now won 11 in a row, but Guardiola is keeping calm. Sheffield United is the only I'm concerned. Today just finish the first round. First leg, so we have still 19 games, it's an incredible marathon. We are going to drop points, we're going to lose games. And the important is what happened, be calm, like we were when we were 12 in the table. Uh, understand why we didn't win that game and immediately win the next one. This is the only I'm concerned about. This is the Premier League, welcome. This is the Premier League, it's, it's so tough. Arsenal impressed as well with a 3-1 away win at Southampton. Their young guns, namely Bukaya Saka, shining yet again. They're up to 8th place whilst West Ham moved into the top 4 with a 3-2 away win at Crystal Palace. New Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel will take charge of his side for the first time today as they welcome Wolves to Stamford Bridge. Tuchel was unveiled as Frank Lampard's replacement yesterday, signing an 18-month contract. Three other games this evening include Everton against Leicester City and Manchester United at home to Sheffield United. And over in Italy, Inter Milan were victorious in a dramatic Derby della Madonnina, knocking rivals AC out of the Coppa Italia quarter-finals. Now Milan went ahead through veteran Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but he was later sent off after an altercation with Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku himself equalised from the penalty spot before Christian Eriksen slammed in a free kick in the 89th minute to win it for Antonio Conte's men. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you would like to see more, then you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages, as well as downloading our app for the latest.